BHN. Let's kick off this episode by getting you guys into sports. Hello, Bernie High. I'm John, and unfortunately this week, your Bernie High School Greyhound football team has a bye. The Hounds had a solid pre-district going 5-1 with their only loss to Medina Valley on a game plagued by weather delays and lightning. Cole Boyd and the high-powered receiving core consisting, consisting of Douglas Hodo, Paul Amick, and Robert Sherwood has been electrifying in the first six games. They have accounted for 1,365 yards in the air and 18 passing touchdowns. The run game highlighted by Colton Poole and Logan Huron has also been consistent for the Hounds with 826 rushing yards and 14 rushing touchdowns. Monty Cluck, one of the state's leading tackle tacklers and dominant defense, have 24 sacks on the year. The defense has only allowed 23 first half points in the last four games. Julio Riggs has six interceptions on the year and is on track to crush a Bernie High School record. Next Thursday, the Hounds will begin district, their district championships hopes as they take on Pleasanton at Bernie IC Stadium 7 p.m. Make sure to be there. Hey Bernie High School, Blake Taylor here with BHNN. This Tuesday, the Bernie High School volleyball team took on Canyon Lake and defeated them easily in three sets, giving them their 14th win on the year. On October 12th, this Friday, they have a game against Bandera where they're looking to go 5-2 and two, uh, on district. And just be sure to go support your Greyhound volleyball team. Good luck, ladies. I'm here with cross country coach, Coach Brewer. Coach, first of all, congratulations on district champs for the boys. Uh, what were the steps y'all took to get to that point? Um, we ran a lot this summer and we um, tried to run as a pack as close together as we could on the men's side. So what are y'all doing uh, for the next step? Um, both teams qualified for the regional meet in Corpus Christi next Monday, October 22nd. So we'll be heading down there. Awesome. Well, good luck. Thank you. Back to you. <laughs> <coughs> I'm Miss Hudek. And I'm Miss Guard. Uh, we have a little bit of information for you guys. On October 22nd, we are having the college fair. We have about like 112 schools that are going to come to the college fair, so show up. Um, all you do is register on texascollegefairs.org. And then don't forget to check out our scholarship page on our Bernie website for Bernie High School counselors scholarships. See ya. Bye. Hi, Greyhounds. Nurse Gish here. Today we're going to talk about the change in the weather. It's going to be getting chilly next week, so be sure and wear your long sleeve shirts, wear your sweatshirt. Don't come to school and be freezing. If you need a coat, I have some extra coats. I have blankets. I have um, some sweaters maybe, sweatshirts. If someone needs a coat, I have the coat closet. I'll be happy to donate a coat to you, but make sure you stay warm. Don't let your body get too chilled. And the flu season's coming up, so make sure you get your flu shot. And as always, the best way to protect yourself is always, always wash your hands. Okay, till next time. Bye bye. And that's all for the news. Thank you for tuning in to this week's edition of BHNN. We'll see you all next time. And happy birthday, United States Navy. Happy birthday. You matter. You matter. You matter. You matter. That's great. Oh, yeah. You matter. You matter. <laughs> you matter. You matter. You matter. You matter. You matter. My name is Mason and I'm Britton and we are both members of the Varsity Bernie Chamber Choir <laughs> and we are here to explain what the You Matter concert is about and we with this concert we wanted to bring awareness to teen mental health and the number of people who are struggling and 
suffering from mental disorders and emotional trauma. And we just wanted to bring the message that everybody matters, whether it be in your football family, your art family, your band family, or your choir family, or your AV family. Uh, you always have a family and you're always welcome in somebody's arms and you matter. You matter.